Stop three on our San Diego water adventure. Can you tell what this water is all about? Look closely. Well, let's give it away. Introduce yourself to everybody. Hi, Hugh. I'm Marcy Steyer with the City of San Diego Public Utilities Department. And what are we looking at right now? What are we standing over? And it goes all the way down. You're at the North City Water Reclamation Plant, and this is sewage. Okay. <laughs> now, I've seen sewage treatment plants all over California. What does this one do? Well, this takes sewage and it turns it into tertiary level recycled water, water that's used for irrigation purposes and cooling towers, primarily in our service territory. Okay, so where is it used? On golf courses, irrigation? It's used on golf courses at the UCSD campus. It's used at our local landfill for dust suppression. So as good as this is, and it's, it's making good use of this water, we're not here to talk about the traditional way that water is you know reclaimed and used for things like irrigation what is going to be happening here before very long and it's very exciting what's going to be happening with your sewer water we're implementing a demonstration project for advanced treated recycled water and what that means is that we're taking this re recycled water and we'll be putting it through a treatment process to turn it into water which will go to the San Vicente Reservoir where you were earlier today and then ultimately it will be a part of our drinking water system. So you're going to be taking sewage and working it over, recycling it, sending it up to the very dam we started off at this morning and making it part of the drinking water supply for San Diego. Now that's a big deal and I think they've been doing that in Orange County for a while already, haven't they? They have been doing it in Orange County and we're basically modeling our demonstration project after that. They've been being a lot of help yes, to you? Yes, they have been a lot of help and their staff. We have a lot of regulatory hurdles to overcome as well as we have a public outreach so that our citizens understand what we're doing. So the demonstration project will operate for a year or so and then after that the report will come out and we'll be able to provide that information to our elected officials to take the next step if there's going to be a bigger scope yeah, project. Yeah, because that public outreach, it's all about public opinion because there's it still is. a lot of people out there that get skittish. They do. About the whole idea, but I've already checked it out in Orange County there's nothing to be skittish about, is there? You can clean this water up as clean as it can be. That's true, and the fact is that since you're aware of the fact that 80 to 90 percent of our imported water comes from the Colorado River in Northern California, that's already been reused many, many times. And this is a way, this is part of that whole program that the good folks in the water business here in San Diego decided back in the early 90s after that big drought, never again are we going to be so dependent on water from other places in California. We're going to use our own water right here in San Diego. A local drought proof water supply. Okay, now where, how much water is this going to provide for the people of San Diego after it's all up and running? Our initial estimates are 16 million gallons a day. Which Wait a minute. <laughs> 16 million gallons a day of additional drinking water that you'll be able to get by improving this system of recycling. Yes. That's huge. It's about 3 to 4 percent of our total service area water demands. And 3 to 4 percent doesn't sound like a big percentage, but the point is this was water that was totally off the table, not being used at all for drinking water before this. No, it's used for non-potable purposes, and then what we don't use, it gets discharged into the ocean. You know what? We have learned so much today, starting with the dam, where this water eventually is going to end up being stored. Then we watched, we went to the desal plant where they're bringing up, pumping up water that was brackish, that was not able to be used before. This is really exciting the way that water is being used that in the past never had been used before. In our water scarce region, we believe it's really important to look at all alternatives and investigate what's possible as I said, have public involvement, make sure that there's acceptance, and then 
everybody can decide what we want for our future water sources. Yeah, and of course, I almost forgot to mention conservation is a big part of that as well. Conservation is very big. In our region, we're very committed to conservation. See, I think, though, not only water people like you and the other water people we've met today, but the people watching, Californians, we all understand now that we've got to squeeze every bit of water. Uh, you know, we can't be wasting water. We've got to learn how to recycle it and use it in a wise way. That's, right. That's part of California's future, isn't it? That is our future today. Yeah. <laughs> we are living that reality. We, I think, in our region, we really recognize that, and our customers have been committed and have been saving huge amounts of water through, as you said, especially through conservation, because that's something that's very personal that yeah. all of our city residents and our customers could do each and every day. Well, see, that's exciting. We're all part of this. Thank you very much. You. We're all part of this ongoing water story here in California, especially here in San Diego. It's all about, here in California, especially here in San Diego, it's all about the water.